Mastering phrasal verbs in emails and letters. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to another video in our series on phrasal verbs. In today's lesson, we're going to dive into using phrasal verbs in emails and letters. It's a fascinating topic that will help improve your written English by making it sound more natural and fluent. Before we get into specific examples of how to use phrasal verbs in written English, let's recap on what phrasal verbs are. A phrasal verb is a verb followed by a preposition or an adverb, forming a phrase with a new, often idiomatic meaning. Some common examples are turn on, give up, or look after. Phrasal verbs are ubiquitous in spoken and written English, and mastering them will bring your English to the next level. Why should we use phrasal verbs in emails and letters? Well, phrasal verbs are an essential part of natural, fluent English. By using phrasal verbs, you can communicate more effectively and sound more like a native speaker. In addition, using the right phrasal verbs can add nuance and specificity to your message. Now, let's look at some examples of how we can use phrasal verbs in emails and letters. 1. Set up, organize, I've set up a meeting for us next week. 2. Get back to, respond, I'll get back to you with more details soon. 3. Look into, investigate. I will look into the issue and let you know what I find. 4. Follow up on, check. I'm just writing to follow up on the email I sent last week. 5. Come across, find or encounter. I came across your profile online and was impressed by your skills. Remember, the key to using phrasal verbs effectively is understanding their meaning in context, so practice using them in sentences until they become second nature. We hope this video has given you some valuable insights into how to use phrasal verbs in emails and letters. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't be afraid to start incorporating these phrasal verbs into your written English. It might feel awkward at first, but with time, you'll start to sound more and more like a native speaker. Thank you for watching, and keep practicing your English. See you in our next lesson.